and welcome to drawing 21 this is what you're creating this time and it's going to provide a new and unique challenge because you're going to have to bend a pipe or bend a tube in two different directions and yet it's the same object so how do we do that um, so here's a section of pipe and if we keep following this all the way across you can see that it bends to the right and if we go this way it also bends away from that initial view and you can sort of see what's going on here there's a couple of sketches visible so I created two different sketches in order to describe how that pipe was going to curve and then I combined them together to make one curved line that matched this output and then I just use sweep to uh, sweep a circle along that new curve so let's go take a look at how that happens so I've already got my um, sketch set to roll back let me just pull that roll back mark all the way up to sketch one okay there's sketch one one line um, well actually it's two lines uh, it was this line and this line and then I apply the fillet to round off the corner you don't have to worry about that arc right there I only did that to apply a dimension to it for the drawing that you're seeing uh, with all of the dimensions because there was nothing to grab to apply a dimension to um, because a, a sketch didn't exist um, all I did was I made the 3d object and then when it was 3d I applied a fillet to that seam and that's how I created that which then didn't give me anything to measure so I just threw this in here so I had something to measure once you've got that sketch going on to the next sketch and it doesn't look like anything happened except if you go this way you can see I've got another sketch going out and again this was just two lines and then I applied a fillet to round the corner off now comes the magic the projected curve there's the new projected curve and as you can see it bends in two directions try to get this all highlighted here that'll work okay so there it is from the front bending off to the right and there it is from the right bending towards uh, the front there so there's the curve we're after and if I can get this looking straight down again all right I want actually I want 3d now we're going to add a sketch we need a circle to sweep along that curve Oh, where do you find projected curve? Um, it's up here next to the plane command. You might have a little drop down projected curve right there. If your window is small enough that that's hidden, you can always use the search feature. Type or start typing projected. It will suggest protect, uh, projected curve and show you which menu it's under. So then you'll be able to find it easier in the future. Okay, from there we sketched there's a sketch at the bottom for the tube and another extrusion we're gonna to have to do after that there's the sweep command so I just went up I chose sweep I chose I'll open up that in fact the face of that sketch and then the sweeping path is that new projected curve I then want two of those pipes so I mirrored it based on the the sketch plane down there so now we've got our basic shape done I then hollowed it out with the shell command and I removed those faces at the same time all three of them so that it was an open pipe end-to-end -end. and you do that just by choosing the faces to remove and not choosing hollow if you choose hollow you don't get to choose the faces I then extruded again the other face that I drew down there so there's that collar I then added another sketch for this piece here extruded that that goes up and now you can see there's going to be a chamfer right here at this seam all the dimensions for this are in the drawing I then did another fillet and you can just see that change right there 
So now we've got a smooth transition. We'll just jump back to the front view. And that's the thing I couldn't grab uh, to apply a dimension to. So that's why there's that construction line there just for dimensioning purposes. I then did another sketch. Oops, wrong way. This way. That sketch is for the flange up at the top. I then extruded that. So now it's got some thickness. I then did some more chamfers right there. Um, I feel like there was, yep. I also did the inside of these holes at the same time. And I don't think I did the bottom. That was the next step, yep. <clears throat> then there was another extrude. And what was that extrude for? Something on the bottom. Oh, um, one of these earlier extrusions had accidentally plugged the hole, so I recut the hole. If I had done those in a different order, I might not have had to worry about that. Um, and then I applied the last chamfer to that bottom hole there. And that's it. That's how you're going to get this shape. So. Really, we're using extrude over and over. We're using chamfer, using fillet. Uh, nothing really new there. Um, the the really new stuff is we use that projected curve, and so that is a powerful tool. We're going to be using that some more in the near future.